computing. Hey, this is Skylar. Um, I am completely blind. I'm autistic and I have a chronic heart condition. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about an idea that I kind of came up with. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm constantly inventing ideas in my head, but they never actually come to uh, fruition. Um, so I thought I'd put them out on YouTube so maybe down the road somebody can see this video and invent this. <laughs> if you do, I will be very grateful to you. <laughs> My idea is, well, let me back up for a second. In another video of mine, which I will put in the description, I talked about how uh, giving breaths, like giving mouth-to-mouth um, -mouth, the kiss of life is very soothing to me but taking deep breaths is not like I cannot stand it when people tell me you know relax take a deep breath because deep breathing doesn't really help me neither is yoga or anything related to that but giving breaths like when I give mouth-to-mouth uh, -to, -mouth to my uh, CPR mannequin giving breaths to me is very soothing I don't know why, but it's, it's very soothing to me to give breath, like mouth to mouth. So I thought of a new invention. It's called mouth to mouth buddies. Essentially, it's a stuffed animal that has a, you know, a fake airway, which is, you know, connected to like this bag in its, in its chest that's hidden. So when you give a mouth to mouth uh, to the stuffed animal its chest will inflate kind of like a like a cpr mannequin like my baby annie uh, she works like that she has this um like it's like a rubber pipe and it goes like from her mouth to her chest and then inside of her chest is like this little bag and when you breathe into her mouth and nose her chest will rise so my invention is to take that same technology and put it hide it inside of a stuffed animal and that way you know you won't have to take a bulky you know cpr mannequin around because even my infant cpr mannequin is pretty bulky <laughs> it's not somebody that i would be taking around like very often because she's like she's not heavy but she's like husky I guess I don't know um so if there was like a stuffed animal that had the same principles you know inside she would have you know it hidden away in her head would be like this tube you know hidden away where you can't see it and then it, it would go from her mouth to her chest and where there would be like a little bag and when you breathe into it her chest would inflate I think that mouth to mouth buddies would um, be a good way to teach kids about not only first aid but self-soothing because I think that if kids you know learned how to give breath to say a stuffed animal um, or on a stuffed animal they would learn how to calm themselves down maybe like so if you were a teacher for a for instance, and you had a bunch of, you know, students, you could have, you know, those, the mouth-to-mouth uh, -mouth buddies in your, in your classroom, and, you know, maybe one for each student, and it would teach the students, you know, to give breaths and, and to calm down. So, I think that if you could take the technology of a um, CPR mannequin and, and hide it inside of like a like a stuffed bear or a stuffed dog maybe or something um, that would be less like bulky I think that would be completely slayer <laughs> and plus it would give like kids a valuable life skill because on babies you know you still have to give breaths so they would learn that and 
also on dogs you have to give breaths but as far as calming down the kids I think that it would be a really good way to do so without it being so it, well morbid <laughs> anyways hopefully you enjoyed my video and I will put that video kiss of life in the description and hopefully you enjoy this video and God bless.